the Dice Odyssey! Welcome to the Dice Odyssey. I'm Kaz. Greg. Hey, you changed your name. What the heck happened, man? I thought you were still Greg. Just at the end. Oh, just at the end. Okay. Well, anyway, we want to come to you today and bring you a really cool little card game called Short Order Hero. Now, this game is by the company... Wyvern. Wyvern Games. And it's a really cool little uh, take that style card game where you're basically working in a diner. I mean, look, take a look at the artwork first. I mean, just to get you into it. You're working in a diner and you're trying to fill your orders as quickly as possible and without punching your friend in the face or hitting them with a cleaver or anything else. Uh, yeah, you're, you're basically a bunch of chefs. And so you're trying to get these orders filled as quickly as possible with the ingredients that are laid out on the table. So anyway, <laughs> that's always You never fun. have enough of you. No, you never have enough. But anyway, we want to go ahead and get you over to the table, show you how it's played, and we'll come back and give you our final thoughts. In the meantime, order up. Uh, this is a Kickstarter pre-production, so again, rules are possibly subject to change, so here we go. First thing you're going to do is you're going to notice you've got a little a uh, round tracker here with a little meeple that you set depending on player order. You got two player, three player, four or five there. Okay, and for every basic round that you go, you're going to move this every time everybody's hands have been played. Okay, now first thing you're going to do is you're going to lay out your recipes. You're going to have five come from the recipe stack here, okay? So for example, let me give you an idea of what these recipes are like. You got a milkshake. You're going to need the ingredients of milk and sugar to get three points, okay? It, it's kind of like a ticket to ride card. You're saving these to the end. You count them up. Now, if you see, it says bonus right here. It's telling you that if you add fruit to this, it's going to give you a bonus plus two points. So that could make this possibly five points. That's pretty cool. Just to give you an idea, another one, you got chili, needs beef, onion, tomato. You got bacon and eggs. You got eggs, pork, you need that. Bonus of uh, plus two for bread. You've got a patty melt, bread, beef, and onion. And then you've got a big monster, homemade pie, fruit, flour, eggs, milk, and sugar. So you have to have a lot of ingredients to complete this, but you get 12 points. Now again, these are just a few of the many different type of recipes that are represented in the game. So to begin, you're going to start with a hand of seven cards, and the different types of ingredients that you get is going to be represented here. Now again, this isn't all of them, but just to give you an idea. You got milk, you got beef, onion, bread, flour, eggs, I'm starting to get hungry just doing this, sugar, fruit, tomato, lettuce, and pork, okay? Now, <clears throat> from this hand on your turn, you're going to go ahead and go, okay, what can I complete out here on the recipe track, right? So for example, I know I've got bread, beef, and onion, so why don't I just go ahead and complete that? So I've got these cards, they're in my hand, I'm going to go ahead and take this recipe, and I'm going to say, hey, I've completed this order, I'm putting it down below in my little tableau area, I guess you'd say. Now you're going to leave that spot open for now. On the same turn, you're also going to be looking and seeing what else you can complete, because the thing is, you can continue to play cards until you can no longer play cards on that turn, you run out, whatever it is, okay? So for example, I can go ahead and complete this one. Eggs and pork. I don't have any bread right now, so I'm going to go ahead and complete that. And now that is considered a second completed recipe. Now I can no longer do anything else that I can see, so I'm going to go ahead and draw one card. And here's the kicker. If you play anything on that turn, you get to draw one card at the end of it. If you do not play anything, you get to draw two cards. So remember, play anything, one, no play of anything that turn, you get two. So always you're going to have something in your hand at the end of the turn, at least normally. And once you've ended your turn, you're going to go ahead and put new recipes out, okay? And that signifies that you've now ended your turn, it's the next player's turn. And play is going to continue like this, round after round after round, until this little guy gets to the finish line, all your rounds have been completed, whoever has the most points out of the recipes completed wins the game. I'm going to give you an example of the bonus cards that come that you can actually place on your own recipes to improve them. For example, you could do the food pyramid. Now, we don't have the artwork for this yet, but you can actually add or remove three points to a completed recipe. So you can actually add 
three points to your own recipe or remove three points from somebody else's recipe by putting it on theirs. So we're gonna add that there. So that increases my completed recipe I already have by three points. For example, the seasoning, you can add one point to a completed recipe. You have spices, add two points to a completed recipe. There's no limit to how many you can do either. Also, you've got some really, really mean take that cards. For example, you've got the wooden spoon. You get to steal another player's turn, thwack them upside the head. You got the cleaver. You get to cause another player to discard their entire hand, and then that player draws two cards. Oh boy. Uh, you got the egg beater. This would be mean to play right after the cleaver. You force a player to discard two cards of their choosing to the bottom of the ingredients deck. You have a hair. You can actually place this on somebody else's recipe to reduce one point from another player's completed recipe. You can do the cockroach. Nice little crunch added in with protein, right? Uh, contaminate another player's completed recipe. It reduces its point value by two. That's a mean one. You also have the knife. You can steal a random card from another player. So a lot of little nice take that cards in there that you can use on somebody else. That's what makes this game a lot more frenetic and interactive. So, Short Order Hero, what do we think about it? That's what we thought about it's it. It's a lot there. of take that. It is. <laughs> now, we're going to put these away so we don't kill each other. <laughs> so anyway, what did we think of the game? Uh, yeah, I really, really like this game. I personally have a big affinity for some take that in my games. Not all games, but I need a little bit of interaction in the game, and a lot of games tend to have take that in them for that. Right. So this game is excellent for that. So what about you, brother? Did you? Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a hit for me. Um... I'm glad to hear that because the designers told me I'd have to use this on you if you didn't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the truth behind the video. Yes. Uh, it's, it's. I think it's almost like the highlight of Wyvern's games. Uh, they're fun. That's the easiest way of saying it. You play their games, they're fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I felt the same way about Onami as well, their other game that we uh, were able to review. And the fact is, is that even though it, I'm not a huge abstract fan, Onami really hit hard with me. Uh, same thing happened with this. I feel like they might ha have another hit on their hands, quite frankly. Yeah, it's a completely completely different game. Um, but yeah, again, just knocked it out of the park. Um, it's, it's got that mix, I think, for me, um, where you have this moment of frustration where every single recipe out there, you're missing one ingredient for oh my gosh. And everybody. And like, every you'll be missing like milk and like... Like, you know, we were playing with Peyton, and he had, like, 20 milk in his hand, and none of us had milk. Uh, well, <laughs> I think that was also our shuffling job, right, because it was a newer yeah, deck. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, When it comes to production, this is still a pre-production uh, quality of a yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, the cards just on pre-production are really nice for what they are. Uh, the artwork I like, uh, let me put it this way, and, and if every card has that, had that on it, I would be like bonkers over it. But the fact is, is that you're gonna have cards with simple artwork in terms of what you're showing, right? It, it's functional artwork. And I like the fact that it tells you on the ingredients and then you flip it around and it's very easily simply laid out. You know what you're getting. And I like the fact they put text on it, tells you exactly what the card's doing. And it's not like you have to worry about what it is. You know, you're not like, oh my gosh, what is it? It's very straightforward. Now we have played an earlier copy of this as well. And um, they've, they've already made like several improvements. The uh, recipe card's a little bit easier to read. They've yeah. added a lot of ingredients, a lot of recipes. There's some duplicates in a recipe, which I like. Cause you know, if you're working in a diner, more than one person, you know, is gonna order like French fries or you know hash browns or whatever so i really like that they kind of added that it's it's you really feel like you're a bunch of cooks competing yeah absolutely um and when it comes to for example the mechanics itself i really like the idea of you know it, it, the cool thing is you can play anything out of your hand as much as you want right until you can't play anything else right. if you want to and i like the idea that when you play i mean you have an option you can either play nothing and draw two cards or you can play and still draw one so you're not hampered because you play something you still get an ability to draw something back into your hand so every Every turn you're getting something and that's a really cool aspect I like to it. It is too and you know anytime you have take that in a game you you end up with a certain amount of I don't know if diplomacy is the right word but tact. Don't play that game either diplomacy oh my gosh. Well but, you know you have you have, you have a certain amount. <laughs> Different of, story. You have to be careful because you know I think you know the three of us were playing and 
No, the, the other day oh, we were, yeah. Oh, man. There's uh, so much back and forth, just between, like, uh, you and Pate. And, um, we were testing out that new cleaver ability. <laughs> I, I, I actually tested out the new cleaver ability. Yeah, it was funny, um, man. Oh, he hit him with a cleaver, knocked all his cards out of his hand, and then Kate Pate was able to yeah, draw two because that's what the cleaver allows you to I, do. And then I played the egg beater on him and made him... <laughs> How you like that, boy? And Squeal, they, boy! That's what it looked like, you know? And Pate was just like, well, I'm done. But the thing is, Pate hit me with a ton of those wooden spoons uh, in a over row. and over and <laughs> over and over, and I was going, revenge is was, sweet. I'll let him do it, you know? It was Pate's turn, my turn. Pate's causes turn. Pate's turn, my turn. Yeah, he Pate's stole a couple yeah, of my was, turns. Was, oh, it was so... But see, that's the cool thing. In a game like this, it, it, you know, <laughs> if it kind of feels like I'm working in the kitchen and, oh, man, you got in front of me. I'm telling you right now. And I do like the, the player mat that they give you. It, it's, it goes more on rounds than it does on how many uh, recipes. recipes you get as in terms of a final game trigger. Mm -hmm. Right? Because in the I think in the earlier version, they had a final game trigger and the amount of recipes. Right. And this is actually right. round-based. And I really like that. It, in a sense, it kind of reminded me, I know this is completely off in a way, but it kind of reminded me a little bit of Imperial Settlers because Imperial Settlers, you get five rounds and that's it. However many points you get, you're done. You you're see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, obviously, it's a completely different game, but I like games like that that give you that finite uh, time limit. It's not based on how many cards you actually draw or how many recipes right. you're going to, you know, to make. So. And the starting point, depending on how many players you have, you know, will change, you know, how many available rounds you have. Honestly, we're having so much fun. I was kind of forgetting. Oh, you don't think about the time, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was. I forget to move. Then I'll be like, oh, I think we've done about three rounds. So. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you see, again, it's just so much fun that you can lose track. But I, I do like that mechanic. Yeah, I do too. And and again, time will increase, obviously, on uh, dependent on the amount of players. Because again, you're doing a lot of hand management. You're doing a lot of okay. I've got these ingredients. I got to not let anybody know what I'm looking at. I'm going to be looking at the menu over here and see what recipes I have to create. So there's a lot of hand management. It felt like I was holding ticket to ride cards in a way because sometimes you would be holding like 20 cards at a time. Um, you know. But see, that's what I was going to say. It's the weird thing to me is that you can have, this is one of the few games I feel like, I mean, you have more cards that you can possibly keep track of, but it's not unbalanced because of that. No, it's not. It's really not. And that was one thing. I was kind of concerned that it could be that way, but actually the fun factor was so high, I didn't see any imbalance. And the fact is, is that even though I was hit with so many bad cards, you know, like take mm -hmm. that cards, I was able to power back and I came close to winning. Like I said, we, we were tied, but I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I'm far behind everybody right. else, you know? And I, even so, I was like, I think like, I missed it by two points. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, ultimately, what am I going to give this game? I'm going to give this game a solid eight. It's got a full, or, I'm sorry, a medium beard rating for me. I think it's awesome. Uh, this is a game that if I had the ability to right now, which I can't because I've been, <laughs> I've been kickstarting so many different things, but if I could, I would go ahead and actually kickstart this thing because I really like good take that card games. And I like the theme. The theme is fun for me because I used to be a waiter and I used to serve tables and I don't know why but hey if you couldn't tell I love food so for me this game is firing on so many different cylinders uh, yeah I mean that's that's what it is for me what about you brother well you're in luck because I will kickstart this game so you'll be able to <laughs> yeah, play it, I get to play it. <laughs> um, again for for this style game I, I gotta give it a nine really? um, for yeah for that a car game like this, praise, it, it is I don't give I don't give that out for full beard yeah I don't Woo! give that out for many games at all um, you heard it I first. really really like this game yeah um that's a actually you know as you're talking it makes me think of a possible expansion adding waiters in somehow oh hey you're keep welcome. an eye on that weaver or is it weaver weaver games keep an eye on that because hey expansion should be coming with this it's a lot of fun yeah so anyway uh i think you, you know that's pretty much what we got to say about it and uh hey let us know if you are interested in this game at all. Have you heard about this game, Short Order Hero? Do you know who Wyvern Games is? Uh, they're putting out knockout after knockout, at least in our opinion. And uh, we really think that they are a company to be watching in terms, especially of Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we thank you so much. Uh, leave a comment down below. Tell us if you like Take That Games in general. A lot of people don't, but a lot of people still do. So hey, let us know what your favorites are. We thank you so much again. I'm Cos. Still great. Finally, you got your name back. Good for you. Uh, I guess I didn't have to threaten you with a butcher knife. But anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. You have a blessed day and came away.